Hello and uh, good morning to everyone. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, uh, faithfulness, uh, what, what, I, what God has been teaching me continuously. And my uh, scripture for today is in Matthew 25, 23. It says there, uh, His master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Um, when I moved here, and there were, you know, from the Philippines to Merit, when you move to a new country, you move to a bigger place and a better place. There is expectations you know, from yourself that you would have success in family, in finances, in everything. As if like a Midas touch, whatever you touch becomes gold. What I have learned and what has God given me is He has given me successes in the more important things. Family, relationship, the church, the I stay. And others may be still waiting. Um, I had dreams of, you know, being like, uh, uh, maybe like a missionary, you know, being successful in ministry and, you know, doing good and, and all these things, which are not bad, but as if God was teaching me that it takes a natural process. You have, I have to be faithful in little things. Faithful in everyday things. So, sometimes we, we look or we do not look at everything, things as important. People like everyday stuff, like raising a family. Don't everybody you know, raise a family? Don't everybody take care of the fa a family? Don't everybody study? You know, it's just normal stuff, right? I mean, nothing special. But these are everyday things that if we have, are faithful to God and, and, and do them, then we are going to have big things later. It also happens to me that, you know, sometimes God tells me, Hey, Ezra, if you want really to be a missionary, go out and teach people about God, teach first your kids. Show me that you can teach your family first to follow God. Then, after that, maybe you can convince others since you have convinced your family. And you, your family, your, your relatives, your friends, you know, will see that. And that's a testimony. So start at home. Start small. Faithful in little things, answer. Faithful in little things. A good example to me, an inspiration, is Pastor Merv. Those of you who know Pastor Merv, you know, he... When I first met him, you see, he's a gifted man. He has lots of stuff. He has lots of experience. And we know his heart is in ministry. But he stayed, stayed faithful here. Why? He had commitments. And timing is everything. And where is he now? <laughs> Singapore. You know, preaching in China. See, God has, it's a natural cause. God knows the timing. But uh, he has been faithful and I see he has been faithful here in doing his ministry. So, faithful in little things, in everyday things. Another one is, um, I admire is Judy. You know, she, she always uh, emails me when we're going to talk. And she has a prayer ministry every, every time. And, and these things are just, isn't prayer an ordinary thing? Is there anything special about prayer? Everybody prays, right? But, Faithful in little things. And that's what I'm learning to be patient and being faithful. If God is faithful to me, should I be faithful to Him in everyday things? I should. Because that is what the Bible says, that the just live by faith and be, and be faithful to Him. Now, our church, I'm happy. We have some new challenges. Uh, we're moving to a new time. New, 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 new building, new location. At first I heard, oh no, we're going afternoon, my Saturday mornings are wasted, you know, I'm gonna, I uh, can't do anything, I can't do anything on Sunday afternoon again, it'll be filled up, and in the morning, you know, staying at home and, you know, can't do anything fruit, fruitful. But then again, God said, hey, to me, why don't you turn your Saturday mornings Sunday. Ah, sorry. Sunday morning. <laughs> Sunday mornings uh, to being fruitful. Like, 
having a Bible study on your own, teaching your kids, uh, praying. You know, Sunday mornings, it's very quiet. People are sleeping and in the apartment is quiet. And it's a time to, to rededicate yourself. I remember the time when those days where we uh, gave 24 hours one whole day to Him. You know, Sunday's same thing. We lie remain faithful to Him. In ministry, in ministry, in the children's church, um, I see the kids growing and I realize being faithful to Him where God put me is important. God put me in this physical church and I love it, but I re remain faithful to Him to, because where He put me. He put me in a ministry and, and that's where I should be. Teaching, teaching little kids, helping them, little things. And that's, and I have to be faithful, constant. Uh, I know some people, you know, uh, might prefer other choices and do other stuff, that's fine. But for me, I will be faithful where God puts me. And wait on Him and be patient when the next step is where He will put me later. I had an interesting uh, conversation uh, a few weeks ago with Sean, and uh, we were thinking, uh, you know, Pasadena do life, we see people come and go, like um, the Sniffins, Tom Hanson, and other stuff. And sometimes it's, um, it's a feeling of you see people, you meet people, you, you turn, you like them, and you love them, and you fellowship with them, and then they go and leave. And there's a, some, some sort of um, loneliness or um, what you call it sadness when you see people leave but then again I said maybe our church is a welcoming church a church where people can come and when they find better ground better places to go they move in a way we help them we are maybe you know, a, a, the term tra transient church there's nothing wrong with that uh, churches in the first uh, era testament where, where they accept people and then when they need to go or they're persecuted, they have to go. And that's nothing wrong. But I, I think what is more important is to be faithful in our ministry, in, in, in what God, in where God put us. And that's our loyalty to Him. And if God put us here in a physical location, in a physical church, then so be it. See, I see the Morrisons, uh, you know, a um, few years back, um, they're in, they were in children's church, and I, I you know, they, I, I learned from them. And now their, teen, their kids are in teens, and they're doing missions. And they can do that because pro, uh, progress of time, and they have been faithful. And they can do that because their, their kids are with them. And it's a very good testimony that when, if they go out and talk about God, they can see their family. It's, you know, they are with their family, and they have taught their kids. And so little things, faithful things, and I'm proud. I'm proud of this church that we have. We, now we have the um, Emmaus Road. Later I'll go with the kids and do the interview for the uh, God and Kids thing. I was nervous. Well, yesterday uh, we started with LA, and the kids were awesome. They they answered you know questions and everything. And sometimes we are being tested little by little. And and now as it says here. We are going to bigger things. We have a TV, a TV station, a program, and other stuff. So I am excited, and I'm happy, and I'm humbled, and I'm, I'm proud of, of what God has been teaching me, being faithful in little things, continuing on, and trusting Him, and guiding him, me, and probably all of us in what lies ahead. We don't know. I don't know. But it's something big. And there's the promise. When he comes, greater things will ha happen. So thanks.